Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me a d seven four four So today guys we're doing our Europa League mock draw and the um the dream draw So like I said guys, let me know your um what you guys want to see Um, so someone actually pointed out to me in the last video that I should actually analyze the mock matches more And do the dream draw as well, which I guess we can do uh, I'm gonna keep the mock draw analysis though short because I do want to analyze more of the dream draw So um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this man and do this. So we're gonna go ahead and click start the draw and I think it's going to just put everything done. Yeah, so it's going to put all the Champions League teams first, of course. Of course. Actually, what? Hold up, is this doing this right? Yeah, yeah, okay, never mind. It's doing it right, it's doing it right. Okay. Alright, so let's start with the first matchup. We got Milan Sporting. Okay, that's an interesting matchup. That's a very, very interesting matchup. And that's difficult to call which team would advance. That's a difficult one, not going to lie. Difficult one, difficult one. So I, I would love to see it IRL. Uh, the way it's Warren Braga versus Quarterback. Okay, that should be... Well, actually, you know what's interesting? I think both teams are really good at home. I think both teams have a solid home record. So, if it's going to come down to the away game, that's going to really determine everything. Then we have Benfica versus Star Rons. Okay, that's a decent one. Galatasaray Roma is interesting. Toulouse versus Shakhtar. I like Galatasaray Roma. That could be a very high square matchup. Benfica Rens. That's an interesting one as well because both teams underperformed. Uh, they should have done better in their respective groups then. You know, it's interesting. I would like to see how that one pans out. Then Toulouse versus Shakhtar. Okay, that's an interesting one for both teams. Olympic Marseille versus Young Boys. Marseille should be happy with that draw. I would say Toulouse, Shakhtar. Okay, so Benfica runs. Who would I say? I would probably favor... I think I might favor Benfica at this moment. Toulouse versus Shakhtar. I was, like, actually, let's do like quick predictions, actually. Why not? So Milan Sporting. I think I'll go Milan just about to advance. Then Braga versus quarterback. I'm going to go with Braga to advance. Uh, Benfica Rens, I'm going to go with Benfica to advance. Galatas Roma. I'm going to go with Roma to advance for that one. Then Toulouse with Shakhtar. I'm going to say... I think Shakhtar would... Yeah, I think Shak I think Toulouse will actually do it. I think Toulouse will actually do it. I'm going to say that they will actually do it. Lemme Marseille Young Boys, I think Marseille should do it. Lens versus Spar Prague, I think Lens should do it. Um, well, actually, no. I think I'm going to go with Spar Prague, actually, to do it. No, no actually, I'm going to go with Lens. I'm going to go with Lens. Stick with that. Uh, Freiburg versus Feyenoord. I'm going to go with Feyenoord to advance. So those are the matches for the mock draw, guys. Of course, a real draw will take place on Monday at around, I think, 8 a.m. my time. So we'll do like a live draw reaction around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So um, you guys can check it out, out on the channel. Remember, guys, to subscribe and get notified, of course. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to my actual draw. So you guys should see on my screen right here. Um, right here. Yep, yeah, right here. So this is the teams that we have in the knockaround playoffs. These are all the 16 teams. You can see right here, 8 from the Champions League and 8 from the Europa League, of course. And remember, the Champions League are playing against the group and runners up. Let me just go over some rules real quick. Uh, remember, guys, um, the first rule is that you cannot be playing against a team from the same confederation. And so that's pretty much the only rule. You know, And I don't think that's going to be a problem. Um, but um, I do want to preface that and obviously you can't play against the same group but that's not gonna really matter here because none of these teams are in the same group so you know it's not gonna matter all right let's go ahead and move on man let's go ahead and start this man so let's go and start this so let's start with the first match we got here is Freiburg versus Benfica I think Freiburg versus Benfica could be a very interesting match because I feel like for me um Benfica we have we you know this German and Portuguese thing you know and we have this intense interesting uh discussion right and I just feel like for me Freiburg for me they have some good quality players. I like what they did. You know, they're a very decent team. You know, they're very attack-minded. And I think Benfica as well. So, I think it's a difficult one to call because Benfica fallen fallen off so badly, right? So, I feel like it's a favorable matchup for both teams. And I don't think this... I think this will be a close game. I don't think this will be one side whatsoever. And so, yeah. And remember, guys, the second leg will take place at the Europa League teams. Uh, Europa League teams stadium. So, that's interesting to note there. Okay. Moving on, we have Marseille Finer. Ah! <laughs> Marseille, man. So if I have any Marseille fans watching, this might be your worst nightmare. Because, of course, remember, Feyenoord Art actually defeated Marseille in the Conference League semifinals 2021-22 season, I believe. The first season of the Conference League. And Feyenoord actually managed to get the better of them. This time around, can Marseille get revenge? I'm not sure, man. I have no idea. That being said, though, they do have the second leg at home, which could be very crucial. So I think it will be interesting to see if Marseille can get revenge for what happened that year. And we, we've seen Feyenoord have kind of regressed since they won, since they made the Conference League final. They haven't really been the same, although they did win the league title recently, so you have to give them 
that respect. But yeah, I mean, um, I, I think it's gonna be a really interesting matchup. I think it's difficult to call because I would probably slight at this moment. I would probably slightly edge with Feyenoord, but I could see Marseille doing it. It's 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 a bit, it's fifty fifty to be honest. Moving on, we have Spar Prague versus Young Boys. I think it's a very interesting one. Both teams kind of surprised people in the group stage. I think both teams didn't were not expected to be in that position. So you know, Spar Prague to finish second place in the group ahead of Real Betis is a very commendable achievement. And I did say yesterday in my stream that you cannot underestimate Czech teams. Young Boys, they did very well. They did decent. You know, a lot of people were I think were thinking Red Star Belgrade well, would do it. You know, I think they were the Serbia champions. And the fact that Young Boys actually did over them was actually interesting. And Young Boys had to qualify through the playoffs. Remember that. So I think for Young Boys this is an incredible achievement for them and I, I'm really interested to see how this one pans out because the, you can make an argument for both teams here I would probably at this moment I'll probably edge with Sparkprog since you can't write up Czech teams and I've really been impressed with Sparkprog I've been more impressed with Sparkprog than Young Boys but Young Boys do have everything what it takes to win this you know I, I wouldn't be surprised Young Boys pull it off moving on we have to lose versus Brock I think it's a very interesting moment for both teams I think both teams would contend with this draw you know and I think it's a very difficult one to call because we know how good Toulouse have done in the Europa League they Surprised a lot of people, I think, and by finishing second place in the group ahead of Union SG was pretty commendable. And consider how good Union SG were last season in the Europa League. So I think you have to give credit to Toulouse. Uh, they're a very solid team at home. And Braga, we know they're also good at home. I feel like both these teams have good home records. And I think that's what makes it very interesting is that I think that away game is going to be very, very crucial for both teams there, right? And that whichever team um, whichever team gets a manage to get an away result or doesn't lose the oh home game as badly could be the difference for them to make it to the next round so i think it's a very interesting one at this moment if you're asking me who i would predict i would probably predict braga since braga you can't this braga team is really underrated in my opinion this is a very underrated team moving on we have rans with a shack turner of course it's a familiar matchup from last season in the europa league of course shack actually defeated rents on penalties and this time around can rents get revenge it's going to be interesting guys because we saw what shack did in the champions league they they did really well in the champions league group and actually came very close to progressing and i gotta say shaktar have impressed me i've been surprised as for rands i haven't really been that like, convinced i feel like they've been kind of worse since last season you know i think the loss of doku has really affected the team so but at this moment if this matchup did take place i would probably favor shaktar at this moment i probably would um i just feel like for me shaktar just had this grit and they just they just they just never say die attitude man although i will say though shaktar are not very good defensively they make a lot of defensive mistakes as we saw against porto moving on we have here it is roma galatas right this is a matchup i really want i really really want if there is one matchup in the europa league that i desperately desperately want it is this one this one i would i want desperately i really want this one because this is a very interesting matchup because roma at one hand should be like okay you know what we can beat galatas right but i think what's very interesting is the fact that galatas are such a high scoring team this team it scores a lot of goals and concede a lot of goals. And I think Roma, for me, it depends how Mourinho approaches this one, right? Because we know Mourinho is a defensive stalwart, right? He's going to be very defensive. So, And remember, the first leg is going to be away in Turkey. So Roma Roma needs to try to get a draw. Because the thing is, God, I said they have, those, they have those players, man. They have those players. That being said, Roma should win this. Like, Roma should win this because I feel like for me... As bad as they are, I think Roma defensively are a lot better than Galatasaray. See, Galatasaray are a lot better going forward. Roma are a lot better defensively. So it makes it very difficult to call. Like, you're going against the best attack, going against one of the best defenses, right? So I, I'm really interested to see how, how that pans out, the parallels there, you know? At this moment, if you were to ask me a prediction, I would probably edge with Roma since simply because Roma have the second leg at home, and I think that's a huge, huge advantage. But you can't write up this Galatasaray team. And Galatasaray can get a win in Turkey and get a draw on the road. That'll be perfect for them. And then finally, the last matchup I have here is um, uh, quarterback versus Lons. I feel like for me, this was an interesting one. I feel like Lons should would be the more happier of the two teams. So I feel like quarterback, this will be kind of too difficult for them. But I, I think I think quarterback could get something against Lons. Because remember, guys, the second leg will be away in Azerbaijan, of course. So they do have that advantage. But um, I just think for me, it's going to be interesting to see how that one pans out. So those are my Europa League dream matchups, guys. I really want to know which matchups you really like from my comments, from me in the comments below. And also, let me know your dream draw in the comments below. I'll be reading through your comments, guys, and everything. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Remember, guys, to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.